Bam! Go follow me on Twitch. LOL Hero Twitch. Link in the description. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Hero. And today we're going to be going to talking about Black Desert Misconceptions Episode 3. Now, in my original outline for these episodes, I was going to cover the marketplace system in this episode because um, the marketplace system greatly ties into the RNG system, which was the last episode. If you haven't seen that, link is in the description. Feel free to go check it out. But um, I think I'm going to do the marketplace episode and I'm going to bump that down to episode four. And instead, I'm going to bump up what was going to be the fourth episode discussing the karma system. Now, the reason why I've done this is because I see a lot of people talking about the karma system and its issues now more so than I have uh, seen it being done in recent days, so much so that I feel like I need to talk about it and uh, I need to open some people's eyes in regards to this issue because it's actually quite ridiculous. So the next episode will go into the marketplace system. Now, before we talk about the karma system and the way it is now in the current state of Black Desert right now, we have to talk about where it used to be and what it what it used to be like. So when Black Desert was originally released, the very first system that they had, I'm talking about the Korean version, all the way back in the day, they had a system where if you attack the player and the player did not attack you back, then you lose karma when you kill them. But if you attack the player and a player did attack you back after attacking them, nobody lose karma because that player did attack you back. Nobody lost karma. Now, let me tell you why this system was so amazing. Okay. First off, it actually does stop straight up PKing to an extent as the karma system does now because it, it controls people. It lets you know that, okay, you can clearly defeat this person with ease and they aren't even fighting you back. Are you still gonna kill them? And if in your brain you say yes, then hey, that's, 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 that's when you lose karma. But on the other side, if this person is fighting you back, chasing you around the map because you're perma red and trying to kill you, you, if you've ever been perma red before, you know that it's very frustrating to be chased by someone that you cannot attack. In this system, you could still attack them and not lose karma. Even if you are already negative, negative perma red, you wouldn't lose any more karma because they attacked you. See, that system works perfectly in the system that they already have because it, it is just perfectly. It was thought about it. It was thought around it. Everything was perfect about it. They completely knew exactly what they wanted their PvP system to be in this game. Unfortunately, there were a few assholes who took advantage of it. For example, you could take off all your gear. Someone attacks you. That's a one shot. They lose karma immediately before you even had a chance to attack them back. Sometimes what people would do is they take off their gear and they stand in the middle of two people fighting. I saw people doing that too in the Korean server and it caused people to lose karma that weren't even trying to attack that person. So yes, it had flaws, but it's much, 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 much better than what came after. So what came after when this system failed in, in their eyes, because a lot of Koreans complained about it, they made the karma system that we know now. Uh, you lose karma if you attack someone and that's it. If you kill someone and that's it. That's that's it doesn't matter if they attack you or not. If you kill someone, you lose karma, period. So that's when open world PVP pretty much died on the Korean version. Not many people participate in it and that's fine. I mean, hey, the Koreans don't really like to do that stuff. However, when it came to the NAEU version, they were insistent in trying to find a way to balance open world PVP to where the North, North American and EU community would enjoy it a lot better. And what they came up with was still a lot better than what we had now for the most part. What they did was they had it where if you attack someone, they lose karma. I mean, sorry, if you attack someone, you lose karma, they die and they lose 1% experience points. 1% experience points. Now, what this did was it made the person who flagged up lose karma, but it also allowed them to actually make an effect on a person. So if you lost 1% of experience, you think to yourself, maybe I shouldn't come back because I don't want to lose 1% EXP. It gave the person who was quote unquote griefing that thought process. It gave them that thought process of a, a, an actual risk to their to their actions. 
Now, a lot of people have problems with this issue, and especially when back then in the original release of Blackjack Online and the uh, North American EU version, there were bots. And what bots did was they were able to pretty much fly around the map and one shot people. It was really stupid back then. Um, but and this is what caused the GMs to turn off the negative one percent thing because, well, people are getting killed by people who are one shotting them flying around the map. That's got to be frustrating, right? It happened to me a couple times and I was one of the later experience having players. So one percent meant a lot more to me than it did someone who was like low you know low level so they removed the one percent thing and then they fixed bots and now we ha had a karma system like that for the longest time where it was no one percent when you kill someone they didn't lose one percent and you just lost karma now that system was completely flawed because there was no pro to killing someone other than for your spot and even then there was no guarantee that you would keep the spot so it kind of defeats the purpose of open world pvp they added dueling which helped for some cases because you could challenge someone to a duel and say hey man if you leave if i win you leave you you win i leave but a lot of times people aren't willing to leave if they lose a duel or even accept it because they don't want a pvp clearly so that left a, a bad a bad position for the karma system in the in AEU version of the game. And at that point in time, I would say that the Black Desert Online open world PvP system was complete trash and needed to be rehashed and rehauled in some kind of way. I would 100% agree with you if you asked me that back then. I thought it was a, the most garbage system ever, but I thought they'd never change it until they added a pvp server on valencia 6. the day they added a pvp server on valencia 6 all complaints for karma bombing for pking for uh not being able to flag up without losing karma the punishments of karma got completely wiped out of the window because all you have to do is go to valencia 6 and when you're on valencia 6 you could grind wherever the fuck you want and flag wherever the fuck you want on whoever the fuck you want. The only issue with Valencia 6 was its original release because it had a lot of hype behind it. There were just people flying everywhere, killing each other. There was no structure, no order, which is what I said when it first came out. It's a pointless to have a PvP channel if there's no structure. You might as well just go to the battle arena. But once a lot of people got bored of doing that, the hype died down, people went to the pvp channel to grind as it was intended to be and it has a lot more structure now never do i run into someone who doesn't want to grind on the pvp channel never they, they don't just run around just pvping on that channel guys people are actually grinding on that channel you might be scared to go there but people are grinding on that channel and that brings up my other issue the people who are complaining about karma bombing right now I don't care what your gear is. I don't care if you have 400 gear score. I don't care if you have 450 gear score. I don't care if you have 560 gear score. I don't care if you have 310 gear score. You have two options. You either deal with the issues of the karma system or you go to Valencia 6. That's it. Those are the only two options you have. You have to deal with it. They've given you a way to solve your problem and you aren't solving it. How, 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 how is that? How can that be? The only counter argument I see is people saying, Man, well, you know, uh, well, shit, man, um, well, uh, fuck, man, um, I'm not geared enough to go. Bullshit. You are geared enough to go. If you die, so fucking what? Who cares if you die? People act like if they die in this game, they die in real life. This is not Sword Art Online, guys. This is Black Desert Online. You'll be fine if you die. Just click spawn note. I promise you'll be okay. People act like they're going to lose their whole family if they die in this game, bro. It's going to be all right. It's okay to die. Go to Valencia 6. The more people on Valencia 6, the more crowded Valencia 6 gets, there's a possibility that they could add more channels. But as of right now, there's no reason to because people are not... Um, using Valencia 6 to its full potential at this point. So why would they add more channels? You know, they need to add more PvP channels and, and more incentive to go to those channels so that people can have uh, more comp competition and then we can get rid of this karma, this stupid karma system. This stupid karma system is completely eradicated on Valencia 6. I only grind on Valencia 6. That's the only place I grind unless I'm waiting for a boss to spawn. That's the only place I grind is Valencia 6. I, I hardly ever run into anybody where I grind at, whether it be Nagas, Saucens, uh, Pirates, wherever. I hardly ever see anyone, ever. 
prime time, night time, early time, mid time. It doesn't matter. I hardly ever see anyone. You guys are making excuses. You guys are being fucking cowards. You blame the karma bombers. You say the karma bombers who come steal your spots are cowards. You're the coward for giving them the option to steal your spot in the first fucking place. And then people say, well, I'm the PvP or why should I have to leave? Clearly, you're not the PvP peer. You're not on Valencia 6, bro. You're not the PvP peer. <laughs> you're like the kid. You're like the kid who got his ass beat and then goes to whoop other kids' ass. And I know you guys are probably looking at me like, Hero, you used to fucking flag up on every fucking level 50 SRs. You're goddamn right I did. But you know what I did? I didn't complain about the karma system while I did that. No. I was negative 1 million and didn't give two fucks. I didn't complain about the karma system when I did that. I was having a perfectly fine time doing that, and you're free to do that as well. That's called dealing with the karma system. Like I said, deal with the karma system or go to Valencia 6. Those are your only two options, bro. If you go to Valencia 6, if Valencia 6 is crowded all the fucking time and people are having too many issues. You think they won't add another Valencia? You think they won't do that? Of course they would. Why not? It doesn't hurt anything to add another another Valencia 6 channel, another PvP channel, but they have no reason to. You guys are not on Valencia 6. You're lying. You're not on Valencia 6. You're scared to go to Valencia 6. You're a coward. And that's okay. It's okay. It's okay to be a coward, but you're a coward. I'm sorry. The only time I see anyone on Valencia 6 is at fucking bosses, dude. That's the only time I see them. I'm there all the fucking time. So, yeah. Stop complaining about the karma system if you aren't on Valencia 6. If you are on Valencia 6, then get more people to come on Valencia 6. We need Valencia 6 to be the most populated channel on Black Desert Online so we can show the developers what we want. You cannot tell them what you want. Do you not understand? They don't understand words. They have to see the action. They have to see it. They have to see what you want. If they say, oh, Valencia 6 crowded, then they're going to add another channel. <laughs> they're gonna see that people want this but they, they, you don't show them anything all you do is complain on the forums stop complaining on the forums and make actions please god damn it's your boy hero see you guys next time peace